This little series about adding vectors by components. This is part one of three parts. To begin with, before we really get into adding the vectors by components, we need to talk about what we can do with the vectors. We need to talk about how we can take vectors apart into components and put them back together from components. So let's look at the first, deconstruction. So I want to deconstruct or take this apart and look at its components. Now there are an infinite number of components, but I'm only interested in horizontal and vertical components because they make up a right triangle, and right triangles are easy to apply trig to. So I'll start with the horizontal components. If I take a look at this, I can make it into a right triangle by using a horizontal vector and a vertical vector that add up, that is they connect the red vectors, connect the tip to tail, to give me R. I could also have gone up and then over. So I could have gone the reverse order and I get this same vector. So it doesn't matter which direction you go first, but you want to make it a right triangle so that your vector is the result as the sorry is the hypotenuse of your right triangle. So now I've deconstructed R into its components. R in the x direction and R in the y direction. And I just add the subscripts x and y. Now let's look at how do we build a vector to get an answer. So to build an answer, uh, build a vector to get an answer, that's construction. So what I'm going to do is I'm given an Rx and an Ry and I'll connect them tip to tail. So there's Rx and there's Ry and they're connected tip to tail. So they're added up. That means they're components of a bigger vector. And the bigger vector starts at the very beginning of the tail, which is the left of R, Rx, and then goes to the tip of Ry. And that's my resultant. So now what I've done is using my horizontal and vertical vectors, I've made a right triangle where the hypotenuse is the answer. So there's my answer. It's R. It goes over some number of blocks, down some number of blocks, and it's got magnitude and direction. It's the length of R, and the direction could be the angle. So deconstruction finds components the x and y direction. Construction uses those x and y components to find R. When adding by components or adding or subtracting by components, we have to start first take our vectors and deconstruct them into x and y pieces. And then we'll work with those x and y pieces. And then once we get our final x and y pieces all worked out, we'll then construct our final answer. So take it apart, do some math, put it back together. On to part two.